question says the curve with equation y equals to 10x minus 3 times x plus 1 and the line with equation y minus 6x equals to 0 intersect at the points a and b. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of a, b. Show your working clearly. So first let's expand the brackets over here. So y is 10x minus 3 times x plus 1. So that's going to be 10x times x plus 1 and negative 3 times x plus 1, which is going to be 10x squared plus 10x minus 3x minus 3, which becomes 10x squared plus 7x minus 3. Now the second equation, which was y minus 6x equals to 0. I'm going to make y the subject over here. So it's going to be y equals to 6x. And we're going to substitute this in this quadratic equation. So that means 6x equals to 10x squared plus 7x minus 3. So now you bring 6x to the other side. So that's going to be 0 equals to 10x squared plus 7x minus 6x minus 3 which is 10x squared plus x minus 3. Now we know that 10 and 3, now we know that 10 times 3 is 30 and factors of 30 are 3 times 10, 5 times 6, 15 times 2 and 30 times 1. If we subtract 5 from 6, that gives us 1. So we can replace x with plus 6x minus 5x and minus 3 comes as it is. So to factorize a quadratic equation, there's a process called middle term breakage where we break the middle term into two numbers which when added or subtracted, give the middle term. And those two numbers are basically factors of the product of the first term, the x squared term and the constant. So in our case, since 30 was the product and factors of 30 are five and six, so when we subtract five and six, we get one. So that's why we replaced x with six x minus five x. So now I factorize the first two terms separately and the last two separately. Between the first two terms, we have two x common. So five x plus three comes in the bracket. And between the last two terms, we have negative one common. So 5x plus 3 in the bracket. So that's going to be 5x plus 3 times 2x minus 1, which can be written as 5x plus 3 equal to 0 and 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So now what we're going to do is to erase this part over here. And one value of x is going to be negative 3 over 5 and the other value is going to be 1 over 2. So these are the x values. So now we have to find the corresponding y values. So that can be done using this equation y equals to 6x. So for negative 3 over 5, your y value is negative 24 over 5 and for x equals to 1 over 2 your y value is 3. So now that we have the coordinates of a and b let's call this a is negative 3 by 5 and negative 4 by 5 and b is 1 over 2 and 3. So for the midpoint, I'm going to first erase this. Okay, so for the midpoint of a, b, the formula we will use is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. So that's going to be negative 3 over 5 plus 1 over 2 divided by 2 
and negative 24 over 5 plus 3 divided by 2. So negative 3 over 5 plus 1 over 2 is going to be negative uh, 6 over 10 plus 5 over 10 and this entire thing is times by 2 and for y it's going to be negative 24 plus 15 over 5 times by 2. So that's going to give us negative 1 over 20 and 9 over 10. That is your midpoint of AB. So for your y coordinate, you're going to put x equals to negative 3 and y equals to 6x. So y is 6 times negative 3 over 5, which is negative 18 over 5. When you put x equals to 1 over 2 in this equation, that's going to give us y equals to 3, which means a is negative 3 by 5 and negative 18 by 5 and b is 1 over 2 and 3. So now that we have the coordinates of a and b, we're going to find the midpoint. Midpoint of a, b is going to be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 which is going to be negative 3 by 5 plus 1 over 2 divided by 2 and negative 18 by 5 plus 3 over 2. Now, negative 3 by 5 plus 1 over 2 is basically going to be negative 6 over 10 plus 5 over 2 over 2. And negative 18 by 5 plus 3 is negative 18 plus 15 over 5 over 2. So that is 5 over 10, sorry. And that is going to be negative 1 over 10 times 1 over 2. And negative 3 over 5 times 1 over 2, which is basically negative 1 over 20 and negative 3 over 10. That is your midpoint of AB.